since Mr. Morin is not here this year, instead he's sailing across the ocean with his girlfriend Nikki, um, we thought maybe he could do his part from in the Atlantic Ocean. Our first pledge. Yes, I know units are important and may be worth a whole mark on the test. So you will never hear me say, What? A whole mark? That's so unfair! It should only be a half mark. The correct units are always meters, kilograms, and seconds. So, if you ever say... Do I need to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second first? Then I will grumble under my breath. I will check the units of the given information before I start plugging it in to an equation. This will avoid the embarrassment of my teacher saying, Really? You forgot to convert first? I will always give directions with my answers, so I will never have to ask... Do I need to give directions in my answer? Because I know it's worth marks, and it may cause that bulging blood vessel in my teacher's head to pop! I will never argue that positive or negative is at all acceptable as a direction. I love metric. You know why? Kilometers to meter. Kilonewtons to newton. Kilojoules to joules. Kilowatts to watts, kilovolts to volts, all require me to multiply by a thousand. Even if your teacher does not say, Don't forget to put a title on your lab. You should put one on anyway. I'll be honest with myself. I can't draw a straight line by hand. And while we're on the topic of graphs, label your axes and... Include the units. Stop, I gotta do that again. I didn't even know the second part. The answers to the problems in the text are actually in the text somewhere. You know, I'm pretty sure that your teacher told you that the workbook and the grade 12 problem solutions are at physicsph.com and, by the way, physicshelp.ca. My physics teacher is a really nice person who's willing to give me a break whenever possible as long as I let my physics teacher know in advance that I may be away. Should I not tell them in advance, I will act like I'm embarrassed when they remind me that I made a pledge not to do this. Well, that brings us to the end of our physics pledge. We hope you found it useful. And we really want to thank you for all the uh, emails you've been sending us. Uh, unfortunately, as I said in the other video, we can't really reply to all of them, but we really do appreciate hearing from you and how helpful you find our videos. So good luck in your physics course.